the team and I have returned to the great state of Georgia. The last time we were here, we were far up in the north by the Appalachian Trail up in the mountains. There's nobody up there. I think that was a squatch. This time, we're down in the coastal plains around the huge military base of Fort Stewart. There are sightings around Fort Stewart and even a few from within Fort Stewart. And that's what we've come to check out. We want to see if Bigfoots really are in this area. We've always gotten great witnesses out of Georgia and evidence like the Georgia dash cam video. That was some of the best evidence we've ever had. Oh, what the crap? What was that? Did you see that? Yes. That Georgia State Trooper, it ran right in front of his car in the middle of the night, was clearly on two legs, just like a Bigfoot. One of the reasons that so much evidence comes out of Georgia is there's so much habitat. This area is dominated by wetlands and swamps. You're going to have those cypress trees, those gum trees. There's also going to be those white oak trees, which will have lots of acorns, which should then be feeding the deer. Amidst only swamplands and coastal plains, Georgia is peppered with sprawling military bases. Civilians can't access these large tracts of land, which creates environments where animals can really flourish. And military bases are huge. There's plenty of places for a squatch to hide. And when those soldiers have live ammo, they are trained not to shoot at something on two legs. So it's really a pretty safe place for them. Just a few years ago, I heard that there was a rash of sightings on Fort Lewis, south of Seattle. And they were actually prepping the soldiers before night maneuvers, saying, if you see something like this, don't shoot at it. Normally, we go to a location to investigate a film or some footprints or something like that. But in this case, we're going to make an exception. We've come to interview a stellar witness. It's going to be interesting to talk to Luke Williamson, because he was out on a night patrol in a Bradley fighting vehicle, which I guess is like some sort of tank. Up ahead of him, through the thermal imager, he sees a human-shaped figure cross the road, not very far ahead of him. You couldn't have a more qualified witness to judge what they're seeing through a thermal imager at night than a trained army gunner. When we decided to come down here, we contacted Fort Stewart to see if we could go around and look for Bigfoot evidence there. Well, they turned down our request, but we still wanted to talk to Luke Williamson about his incident. So we decided to meet him in an area nearby that looked very much like where he was when he saw this figure. So you had a very interesting encounter, particularly interesting for us, because you saw this through a thermal imager, is that right? Yes. Yep. Cool. Well, was, well, tell us about it. <clears throat> it was about, uh, it was 1998. I was stationed at uh, Fort Stewart. I was a gunner on a Bradley fighting vehicle. And uh, our unit was out in the field conducting maneuvers. Uh, we are just doing some training. It was way past midnight, I believe. And uh, it was really dark, uh, overcast kind of conditions. We came up to a T intersection in the road. And my job as a gunner would be to clear the intersection. And uh, the road looked cleared. I told the commander we're good to go. Didn't get very far when I saw an object walk uh, across the road from the right to the left. In about three steps, it made it across the road. And it was in a stride. And it startled me at first. And the only thought that came to my mind was it was a Bigfoot. It was uh, on two feet, and it cleared the road rather quickly. And do you estimate how tall? Uh, approximately about eight feet. But how is it that you're estimating the height of the figure? I sort of just using an uh, estimation based off of the vegetation that's all around Fort Stewart. When I saw Bigfoot walk across, I would say it was probably about 50 yards away. Oh, that close? Yeah. yeah. That's, so, that's real close. Uh, I had it figured for much further. Yeah. Luke said he based the height of the figure on the height of the trees in the area. How do we know that that figure was eight feet tall if he didn't get out and measure the trees or take into account a slope of the road? What special training do you have that makes you so certain you weren't looking at a person? A person in a ghillie suit looking through a thermal uh, is pretty distinguishable. Would you feel comfortable saying that the subject you saw seemed to be covered in hair? Yes. Or go, you, definitely then? I would. OK, because you didn't hesitate at all with that answer there, so I'm going with definitely. 
Talking to witnesses with military backgrounds is always great for us because they are trained to discern details. And clearly, Luke was very well trained for this. He needed to figure out if what he was looking at was a friend or foe. And in this case, it was a friend, a friendly Bigfoot. Well, I brought one of our handheld thermal units that we use here, um, and I thought it might be kind of cool if we gave you the thermal unit, we could put Bobo in the right spot, you can compare what you see through this yep. and what you saw that night. Okay, sounds fun. Okay. It's really too bad we can't get on the base and do Luke's recreation at the actual spot where he had his sighting. We found a similar road off base, same 50 yards straight away, so we can still do the recreation and get some information from it. Keep going, keep going. That's good, right, right there. Right there, right there is fine. Yes, yeah, it's 50, 60 yards. Do you want to walk across the road for us while he watches? OK, here I go. Through this, it's a lot smaller than what uh, I had seen that night. Really? Yeah. I'm going to raise my hand and tell him to tell me to stop when it's about as high as what he saw that night. Is he even getting close to the height of it? Close enough. He says that's close enough, unless you want to do some hopping. What? Well, eight feet, so what he saw then it was approximately. A little over eight feet. It's so hard to judge size at different distances, but for Luke, this guy is no amateur, man. Trained professional with thermal imaging. I mean, as good a witness as you're ever going to get. So I got to say that I got to welcome you to the Bigfoot Witness Club. Thank you. Absolutely. I think he saw a Sasquatch. I think so, too. What else are we left with? Eight feet tall, covered in hair, man shape, walking across the road. Bigfoot. Yep. It's unfortunate that we can't actually get on the base, because certainly there seems to be Sasquatches running around there. But Matt came up with the next best thing. As it turns out, the Ogeechee River that forms one of the boundaries to Fort Stewart goes up and flows through another piece of private property that we do have access to. It's our hope that the Sasquatches are using this river corridor to move around and forage in. So we're going to do our first night investigation there. So tonight's plan is going to be Matt and Renee on one team exploring the swampy, boggy areas, and Bobo and I heading down the road more towards the coast to see what might be living down there. You know, I was surprised when the CO of the base wouldn't let us on when I called him one military man to another. <laughs> you were in the military? Well, he didn't seem to appreciate the fact that I was a colonel in the KISS Army. <laughs> OK, so there's a new moon, which means the deer and everything are going to be out. The squatches are going to be more bold. Hopefully. Yeah, well, they won't be able to bring it. They have to get closer to see what, you're, what you are. Here's that trail that goes right towards the marsh. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Ooh. Ba boom. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was it? What was that? It was a big noise, man. Kind of one of those low noises, hard to tell what direction it's coming from. Sound like industrial or? Renee for Bobo. I got you. We're listening. Did you guys hear that big whack sound or not whack, but thump? Yeah. Yes, we heard it. It sounded fairly close to us. It was near the marsh. I'm going to do a wood knock. Roger that. Just a single. Loud, loud, loud. Bitchin'. Did you hear our knock? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was loud. OK, let's take a listen here, then. 